finding trig ratios for obtuse angles with a calculator. This is 8.5a. We have 10 previous videos for Chapter 8 that are in the Geometry Playlist in the description. So an acute triangle has acute angles. An obtuse triangle has an obtuse angle. And so far we've only used trigonometry with right triangles and acute angles. But there are real-world applications in electronics, surveying, and other fields that require solving triangles that aren't right triangles. And we can solve any triangle by calculating trig ratios for angle measures up to 180 degrees. So using a calculator, a scientific calculator, we could find these values and round them to their nearest hundredth. And for some of you who have downloaded the RealCalc app for your phones, you can use this. So for the sine of 135 degrees, we put in a 1, 3, 5, and hit the sine button. We're going to get this nice long decimal that rounds to 0.71. So it's approximately 0.71. For the tangent of 98 degrees, we just put in a 9, 8, and hit the tangent button. And we get this nice long decimal, and it's approximately negative 7.12. For the cosine of 108 degrees, we just hit 108 cosine. We get this nice long decimal that we can round to negative 0.31. Okay, so it's fairly simple. For the sine of 100 degrees, we put in 100, hit the sine button. We can round it to 0.98. For the cosine of 167 degrees, we put 167, hit the cosine button. It's approximately negative 0.97. You can write 0 0.97 if you want. For the tangent of 164 degrees, 164, hit the tangent button, and we get this nice long decimal that can be round to approximately negative 0.29, okay? So it's fairly simple, all right? Just wanted to show you that real quick, how to do this. Our next lesson segment for 8.5 is law of sines, which we're going to follow with law of cosines. And we're going to talk more about obtuse angles before we move on to vectors, okay? So if you haven't done this on a calculator, a scientific calculator, try doing this, okay? So you can practice and get good at it, all right? I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.